From Iron Man to the Iron Throne, nerds are passionate about a lot of things, but there's something they love above all else, and that is correcting people. This is Um Actually. Joining us today, we have Hector Navarro. Um, actually, I'm very happy to be here. Thank oh, you. Great. Thank you. We have Daniel Radford. Um, actually, I'm not very happy that Hector's here. <laughs> and we have Nick Mundy. Um, actually, the charity I'm playing for really needs the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the two of you on the outsides have been on this before. Danielle, you haven't. Uh, so the rules are very simple. This, uh, I have here a stack of statements. These are untrue statements, for the things that you enjoy. Uh, it's up to you to find the things that are wrong and correct me. Uh, all your corrections have to be preceded by the phrase, um, actually. If you don't, I won't give you the point, Jeopardy style. Uh, and you can interrupt me whenever you want. You don't need to wait for the question to be finished. Like, as soon as you hear the thing that's wrong, you can buzz in and correct me. All right, well, let's let's jump right into it. Here we go. Uh, this first question is about video games. A little video game question here. <laughs> Star Fox 64 features a colorful cast of anthropomorphic fighter pilots, including Slippy Toad, Peppy Hair, Falco Lombardi, and, of course, the titular Star Fox himself. The team battles against the evil Andros in an attempt to save the Lilat system and avenge Fox's father's death. Danielle. Um, actually, we all know that Pepe is a racist frog. <laughs> uh, with Slippy Toad and Peppy Hair, uh, Pepe Frog joining the Star Fox crew would be insane. A sane <laughs> racist frog to join thing. Uh, that is a racist frog. It's not what I said, unfortunately. Um, Hector. Actually, yes. Star Fox is not trying to avenge his father's death. His father is Andros. Mm, no. I'm sorry. Um, actually, it's... Falcon Romano? <laughs> Just a, a different, slightly Italian name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, 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 that's incorrect. It is Falco Lombardi. Uh, I'll go ahead. Unfortunately, no points for this one, but I'll, I'll let you know what's up. Uh, Star Fox is not the character's name. Uh, um, actually, <sighs> his name is Fox McCloud, uh, uh, which, uh, yeah. That's yeah. right. Hector is... Hector is I did know that. Hector is, is, <laughs> no is, one has ever called a, him that. No one has <laughs> ever called him that. That's yeah. my name. Come on, call me Fox McCloud. Hey, you guys want to come over and play Fox McCloud 64? <laughs> yeah. No, no one has said that. <laughs> oh, yes, let's all play the Fox McCloud and the other characters <laughs> who we're supposed to remember. <laughs> well, you know what? Like, that Fox fucks, so... <laughs> I mean, it is, like, we, like all the other characters there are like uh my last name is the animal that i am uh i guess except for falco lombardi but he's got falco in there mm -hmm. uh like, i think it's romano romano <laughs> everyone loves falco oh, <laughs> oh, oh, fox. Oh, oh, fox. Slippy. Oh. That, question, that question was bullshit i'm so, i'm sorry look all these questions are going to be bullshit like this these are designed to be Bullshit, really annoying, shitty questions, which means it'll feel great when you get one. So we will move on to our next question, uh, which is about comics. Marvel Apes is a limited run series that imagines the Marvel Universe where all our favorite characters are apes and monkeys instead of humans, including Hawk Ape instead of Hawkeye, Thorilla instead of Thor, and Iron Mandrill instead of Iron Man. Danielle. Um, actually, it's not Marvel Apes, it's Marvel Eights. So it's just a bunch of really hot, the number eights. So it's like <laughs> Thor eight with a like a wig and a hammer. Um, you know, it, it, it's- Just staying uh, in a super eight motel and like- Yeah, uh, just, it, it's just, have you ever seen the number eight? She thick. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Marvel Apes is a thing. To it my knowledge, be. Marvel Eights is not a thing. Um, but uh, just a matter of time. If you're out there, uh, Marvel, if you want to make Marvel Eights uh, instead- uh, If you want to make some money. Yeah. <laughs> she already looks like a 90s drawing. You can see boobs and butt at the same time. <laughs> I just want to point out, we did have a fact checker that did actually check right now for Marvel, Marvel Eights and was like, nope, not real. This, the <laughs> number of times where we've like try, I've tried to write yeah. a comics question that's been like, yeah, it's like, this is a very silly thing that hasn't happened. It's like, oh, actually, that did actually happen yeah. in this storyline. Yeah. Like, All right, fine, fine. Nick. Um, actually, it was Iron Ape. <laughs> no, no, Iron Mandrill is is the name uh, of of the ape version of Iron Man. That's as bad as Fox McCloud. <laughs> <laughs> Hector. Fox McCloud. Um, <laughs> um, actually, the Hawkeye gorilla or ape wasn't in the story, but the other two were. Uh, that's incorrect. It's a good guess, though. It's a very good guess. Danielle. 
Um, actually, it was not Thorilla, it was Thorella. This is the story about how Thor lost his magic hammer at a dance. <laughs> <laughs> and then a, a beautiful prince had to go from house to house to figure out whose magic hammer this is. But how does he do it when he can't lift it? <laughs> but Thor can lift it. That is extreme, that is not Correct, but you actually have identified the thing that is wrong. So I will give you the point unless so, if, if some, unless suck someone can tell me what it, it should be. So you, you've Thorilla. identified that Thor, th there's something wrong um, with Thorilla. Actually, it's just Thor because on Molchenur, uh, <laughs> it doesn't say Thorilla, who's worthy is Thorilla, it's just Thor. We don't call him Thor human. That uh, that's a that I love that as a guess because there are also there are apes in the Marvel ape series that are just like well like there is Iron Mandrill but also there's just Captain America who happens to be a gorilla. Um, why why but, do you do that question? But yeah. in actuality, but that is not that is not correct. Uh, 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 there is a a um, uh, Thoril is not correct, but he's not just called Thor. Um, Hector, any guesses? Uh, I'm gonna play this safe. I'm gonna say no. No guesses on this. <laughs> but we're gonna give that point to Danielle. Oh. Then you have identified that that uh, he's not called uh, Thorilla in the Marvel Apes version. He's called Thorangatang. Uh, uh, <laughs> you... Degenerate into something, fool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had an option to read Marvel Apes when it came out, and I I think even then was like, hmm, this will never play out later in my life. I yeah. will never need to know anything from this. That is the that is the correct thing to think. Yeah. I can absolutely see why you would think that. And to be fair, I include this question not necessarily thinking that anyone would have a deep knowledge of Marvel Apes, mm -hmm. just because I thought it would be fun to talk about yes. Marvel Apes. I still think I'm right. <laughs> uh, that it should just be Thor. Yeah. I mean, yours has yeah. a, a definite logic to it. I think and there's not any, a whole lot to of. To the comment. Yes. I yeah. think any superhero name with the word man or woman in it should be replaced with some variation on ape. But like, Thorangatang, it's like, no, the dude's name was Thor. Like, yeah. It's... Yeah, like that's just his name. Yeah. We'll move on to our next question, which is about Game of Thrones. The entirety of the series, A Song of Ice and Fire, is filled with brutal, awful deaths. Among the worst is catching grayscale, a highly contagious disease that slowly and painfully turns you into stone. Danielle. Um, actually, grayscale does not turn you into stone. It turns you into a dragon, and then you become a dragon, and mm. then you get dragon breath, and mm. then you get to kill everyone with mm. your super bad, horrible breath, and then you live on that weird leprosy island where there are other dragons with weird dragon breath, um, and then your dad straight up murders you. Once again, you've identified the thing that's wrong, but you've added so much more that it's wildly <laughs> incorrect at this point. Um, but I will give you the point for, for getting, I doing for this? getting at least, <laughs> listen, I told you, you can guess your way into a right answer. You can find the things that are wrong. So I'll give you the point unless someone can can, can be uh, more, more, yeah, yeah Nick. Um, actually, Grayscale is where you go to a, uh, peninsula <laughs> where your mom kills you and your dick falls off because uh, your dick's all like rocky because uh, and rocks fall off dicks. <laughs> that is that is incorrect. Uh, the, the, no, that's incorrect. I'm sorry, uh, Hector. Um, actually, the death everyone's talking about is uh, in the show as dying from shame because you fucked your sibling, <laughs> which most of the characters no, have. No, we're well. A lot of characters have fucked their sibling, but most of them have not died of shame for it. Most of them are actually yeah. kind of like super into okay it. With, yeah, they're like yeah. kind of into it. It's a uh, yeah weird thing. Uh, no, you know what? In spite of the the many inaccuracies about the dragon <laughs> of the peninsula, you at least identified that uh, yeah, grayscale does not turn you into stone. Even though people who are afflicted with gray, grayscale are called stone men, it just like makes your skin crack and get very hard, but you don't like physically turn into stone. Um, so she's winning two zero. Two yeah. zero, and, yeah, yeah. and and I would say in a very very questionable way. Um, uh, but but look, Danielle's playing to the test, uh, and, and, and nothing's stopping everyone right, else from doing right, it. You know. Right, All right. Uh, this is, uh, this is about Star Wars here. While Tatooine may appear to be a harsh desert planet, it is the native home to many different species, including Jawas, Tuscan Sand Raiders, Huts, Dewbacks, and Banthas. Nick. Um, actually, it's not Jawas. Uh, it is Jawas, yeah. Jawas are those little, don't, don't break our puzzers. <laughs> don't throw the controller, man, come on. I know you lost, but like, I need that. Uh, Hector. Um, actually, 
the huts did not originate on Tatooine. They came from some other planet. That's correct. That was, oh! Yeah. Was it, uh, <laughs> that one I actually knew. Yeah. <laughs> That's I could have yeah. gotten a point on my own merits, but I was like, nope. No, I'll let Hector have this. So. <laughs> <laughs> Very graciously. No, that's uh, that's uh, that's correct. You, you'll you'll get the point no matter what. Do you yeah. do you happen to know what planet they're they're from? Uh, Slug Terra was that Slug Terra? No, that, no. Good guess. That's that feels like a very Lucasy kind of mm -hmm. uh, kind mm -hmm. of thing. Right on the nose. Their their current homeworld is uh, Nal Hutta, Nal although Hutta. they're originally from Varl. Uh, mm. I wouldn't expect anyone to know that, but um, uh, but I'll get. Who told you that? Hmm? The internet. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Wikipedia. Did, did Lucas put it in the movies? Are you saying that uh, that uh, anything not movie is not canon? Yes. Okay. So movies only and the TV shows. No. Yeah, who, no, let's have time. no one has time. Uh, <laughs> we don't have time, so it yeah, doesn't count. Yeah, that was my favorite part of watching Solo was when they had that big cameo of Darth Maul. Yeah. A ton of people I know were like, "Wait, he died in the movie," yes. and I had to be the asshole that went, "No, in the cartoons they explain he comes back." Uh, but yeah, that is a point for Hector. And this brings us to our very first shiny question. Now, shiny questions are like shiny Pokemon in that they're worth the same amount, they're just a little bit different and a little bit rarer. Uh, so the format's a little different for this one. You don't have to say I'm actually if you don't want to, but you can if you just want to feel extra safe and not forget about it in future questions. Um, this is a game called Not the Droid You're Looking For. In just a second, we're gonna show you an image where one thing is, does not belong in the group that we've presented. So uh, there's a piece of paper under the couch. Uh, on your sheet, there'll be a collection of things that are all part of a one group, except for one that does not belong. It's up to you to identify that one. Uh, first person to identify it will get the point. These are all fictional elements and materials. And flip. Here we go. Yeah, these are these are a bunch of fake uh, these are fictional substances from across <laughs> comics, video games. Oh, yes, Nick. Um, um, actually, Osmium is r real. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that's it for this preview of Um Actually. If you liked it, there's a whole lot more waiting for you on Dropout. Go to dropout.tv to start your free trial today. I'm Mike Trapp, reminding you to get your pets spayed and neutered, and to get your zombie pets obliterated. Zombie pets. They're not the pets you loved anymore. They're gone. They're gone. Kill them. Kill them. Label as many of the robots as you can, uh, uh, giving their names. Uh, whoever can name the most robots will get the point. If you all tie for the most, then uh, you all get the point. 